Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. This is Julie with JFK Freedom, and the reason I haven't been online is just because the messages have been personal and private lately. Yeah, and I let the Lord guide me for updates, so there's nothing to share today. I uh, want to thank Him for blessing me with the words that He put in my mouth and appointing those words over the kingdoms and nations of the earth if they so choose to listen to uproot and break down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. Yeah, so this uh, message will have two parts, and then I have a couple small slivers from other words that also fit. But basically, um, there will be about the fall of the demonic. Originally, before the earth began, um, Chuck Missler, I believe it was him, exposed that the dark over the waters actually meant the demons so they were there they did fall in advance i always had the feeling it had something to do with humanity but i didn't know what i thought like they were jealous that god made an earth for us and not for them or something (laughs) um and maybe that's from milton i read milton a long long time ago paradise lost but um Yeah, I actually do not sit around asking God these questions. Uh, If I ask him a question, it's usually about a person that I know, and I'm usually asking, or it could be someone online, and I'm asking the Lord who they are, if I can trust them usually, that kind of stuff. So I do have these questions, but I don't usually, I don't make a list and be like, okay, Lord, I want you to tell me this and tell me that. Um, But I am thankful he answered this one. It is something I have wondered about almost my whole life. (laughs) And then the other thing has to do with the almost fall that happened in my personal life last year. I'm not allowed to say anything else. It will be in the, I might do a timestamp. It would just say almost fall and you can go click it. I assume the gossipy stuff is more interesting to y'all. So I will start with the almost fall and then we'll do the fall. And this is actually from yesterday, May 1st. Okay, actually, there's a little tidbit at the beginning that talks about what's being created in the labs. Because I did watch a movie about how babies are made in a lab. Like the in vitro fertilization. I think that's what it's called. So anyway, the movie was really basic. And I don't go down... I try not to go down rabbit holes, rabbit trails, whatever it's called. But... um. I had the feeling when I watched it, it was pretty basic. It was a very basic movie. And we know in the book of Revelation, yeah, it's going to mention that anyways. So here we go. He's talking about the knowledge as to, and here the Rima begins, what's being created in some labs illegally as we speak, mitanander, people would freak out if they knew, dear one, and they will someday, my loves. As my own sparrow points out to naive to believe they aren't or won't be real, the creatures in Revelation actually stinging and hurting people, causing them to cry out in pain, dear ones. But not my dear to I am once, lovely to me, all who have the guts or the balls to not take the mark of the beast, mark of a man who truly should not be allowed to have such mocked terror power, my loves, but he will dear ones, have that power and be able to snap his fingers to not make everything better, dear ones, no, no, as he will claim to the masses, but rather death, mass losses to humanity's pull of perfectly created by I am, I am reminds you, genetically pure humans. And what, count them what, my loves, do you think? Do you think you are less than because you're not part robot and can't crash the S word out of a, oh, I don't know, a car or a vehicle, for example? Come on, my dudes, in this late hour. Be my dudes and chillax on me, in that sense. Many of you have actually read the raunchy as hell to some Christians, but F them, so to speak, for going so judgy on her A word. And I am reminds you, I asked her to write it, and so she did. And if I'd wanted her to edit it, I would have told her so by now, don't you think, my shrewd ones, with all this private intel coming her way. Journals by now. She has journals full of sweet intel, all for her sad, lonely state to look over and read again and again, which she does pretty much standig at this point, my loves. 
an ogre of a hubby at home who thinks she's full of shiza why does she need so much so-called quiet time to sit and write those stupid in his view words he wonders on her pathetic a word all the time by now my loves clinging she's clinging to the hope that i am that i am will be that big dog in the spiritual realm for her but also move into the physical to take care of a few things, one of which is this terrible not a hubby to her really anymore, just like terrible paparazzi watching, hoping wrongly my sons of this late humanity hour, if he can, can he get her going just one more time so he can stick it in her for a quickie, which is what they always were, once he popped, jumped, dove right back into the porn use and habit, after dear little Marzi was born. And enough, my sons and daughters listening today as well. He couldn't get enough of those raunchy images his whole life. But did he treat the real as hell? Sweet at first to him, you better believe it, my ones listening. Till she realized she was being standing, ignored, and emotionally, subtly abused. But I digress. Anyway, dear ones, Did he treat her like the dear, sweet doe with full breasts to match the metaphor she was to him at that time? But no, and no. She was like a Bathsheba in the worst way, not a lamb loved at all, but rather scorned, seen in error at an Austrian-style spa. Yes, it's true, my shocked Americans, but did she care at the time? Thought I am had left her, S-word, out of luck. No one will ever care to talk to me, come and save me. So, oops, not an oops at all, in her mind. I'm going to officially ruin my marriage, good or bad. Rather, anyway, so who cares, reputation, and run off into the arms of a stranger for a few nights of vacay in the beautiful Austrian Alps. Reveal my sweet scorned wrongfully most of her life, my once listening, bod, to the wrong man. Certainly wrong choice for her that afternoon, my loves, if she had made it. For he was a sick, sick sick-in-the-head assassin type of man who could certainly have killed her, my dove's dead heart, finally, truly dead, no longer beating its sad beat, but gone and done, her life, this story, this channel moving into mysterious what happened to her silence. And yet, my loves, I am insisted that she live on, and she was protected that night, my loves, not just by a wonderful, not so wonderful, ignored her text messages as soon as they got back, although she didn't realize what she'd saved her so-called friend from that night, my loves. But the Boaz, y'all know I had to mention him, my dears, prayer. He was praying for her that night in earnest, my loves, for the Lord has laid this little big-breasted filly on his heart at that time. At the end it says, Father, Son, and of course has to be there, or here rather, or this wouldn't work, my dears, Huns. Holy Spirit conduit, and I perceive the Lord blowing a kiss. Okay, so that's the end of that part. All right, awkward stuff over. All right, this is just a snippet, um, but it's from April 28th. It says, Yes, sweetheart, I am will carry you through these last difficult years of your lives, as I will do for all my precious saints to I am in these difficult humanity hours. Okay, so this is the fall of the demonic. This Rima is from Monday, April 24th, and if y'all are just wondering, I am receiving them twice a week, which sounds like a lot, but many of the messages are like, it's like encouragement and then kick my butt. So the Lord is working on me to get holier and holier so that I can receive these messages about two times a week, um, which is, I know it's a lot. At some point, it's a lot in the sense it sounds like, no way, Jose, you know, no one could do that. Um, but my life, yeah, it's slowly picking back up, but it was really crickets for a while. So I certainly had time. And But as far as getting holier, um, yeah, obviously that's a process. But this past year has really been a kick in the pants for me. Speaking of the Lord making me holier. And then at some point, I think in the future... That will be a benefit to y'all, and y'all will get to hear more messages, so it'll it'll change at some point. And I never thought the Lord could give me personal stuff like this, um, but maybe y'all begin to hear it. it's like repeating itself a lot. The Lord repeats himself, 
And it's not to be annoying. It's a like a poetic device. It's all through the Old Testament, actually. You hear a concept, and then you'll hear it explained, and then you'll hear the concept again. All right, so this talks about... It's going to start with some stuff that um, is a bit heavy, but I think I can go ahead and share this. I was actually wondering if I deserve to live after all the all the things I've done in my life. She wanders righteously or unrighteously from time to time. Hun, all humanity deserves death. As Isaiah, guided by my Holy Spirit, wrote, All those many thousands of years ago, so no, Hun, you don't deserve death at all. For you've embraced the life giver, heals you of all sin, even as they occur. Life breath scenario of my son living in you. Secret treasure from a field bought. Secret purchase deep down. No one around you in the Christian community truly knows about it, hun, that deep down your heart is burning with a passion of love, a uh, longing to turn sexual on I am's A word, but she knows it's not technically allowed, not like in the sick sordid to do this. Yes, the demons longed for sex with those women, and it was part of the reason, a major one actually, for their fall. The demonic hordes going down, 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 into that dark water to live and survive for a time, because yes, hun, through my spirit in them, when they were angels, they could see the future, hun, and they saw gorgeous Eve, her naked body, and longed for it in error, hun. They were in some serious hot water with I am in advance, even before their relative falls, for thinking of sweet womanhood in those sick, strictly sexual terms, which is pretty much how my husband views me and there it goes on to other topics okay <laughs> we call it, i call it a doozy when it's something heavy so it was a bit of a doozy today doozy of a word but still some info that y'all hopefully can handle remember if you devote your heart to him and stretch out your hands to him if you put away the sin that is in your hand and allow no evil to dwell in your tent then you will lift up your face without shame you will stand firm and without fear. You will surely forget your trouble as waters under the bridge. Life will be brighter than noonday, and darkness will become like morning. You will be secure because there is hope. You will look about you and take your rest in safety. You will lie down with no one to make you afraid, and many will court your favor. God bless.